Good morning, dear friends. A new day in which you and I are being invited by God to calibrate ourselves with his loving heart. Yes, we are being asked to be co-creators. And to co-create is to share the good that God has given to us. That's why you and I now are going to the master of all masters, Master Jesus, as in the parable we told, chapter 29 of the book Jesus in the Home, through Neil Lucio and Chico Xavier, you and I are getting to a very small meeting with Jesus when some were discussing about the Good Samaritan. And they asked Jesus to elaborate a little more. And he did. He was willing to do it, and he did. And he said that there was this sick man who was lying on the ground at the gates of a large city. People passed by. First, a young generous Roman who sent some coins, just uh, tossed some coins to the man. Later, a scribe passed by promising that he would send the authorities to take care of him. Then later, a priest, a priest came by, and this priest said to his people, let's help the sick man. And he didn't do anything. From people to people to people, just promising help and giving a little help, but not much, until a publican man who was considered to be of low life. He stopped what he was doing and to everyone's shock and amazement, he went up to the poor man, spoke words of encouragement, kindness, helped him up, supported him in his strength and shared a small amount of money. And then he returned to his journey. And Jesus asked everyone who was with him, who do you think was the most charity, the true charitable person? And then one of them said, yes. It's hard to say, but it was the publican. Jesus then finalized the lesson, saying to them, but now to you and I, he says, you too should do the same. Charity through orders through others, is without a doubt, both honorable and commendable. But the good that we practice directly by giving of ourselves is always the greatest and surest of all. Here's the invitation for the day, to give of ourselves to our family members, to the people at work, to the people who contact us, to everyone. You and I are being asked to give of our sweat and blood and tears and smiles and hugs and words of encouragement and to really walk this line. Let us pray together, friends, because prayer is the way we strengthen ourselves to co-create with God in true alignment. Dear God, we feel so small in your enormous universe that sometimes we doubt we make a difference, that we're really that important. But with Jesus, we're learning that as little as a worm or as big as a star in the sky, we are all important. We have our role. 
So thank you for encouraging us to give of ourselves because deep inside we have come to understand that you created us for purposes that we are yet to learn. But we now know that we cannot put aside so many talents you've given us. May we all be courageous to share the good that you have created us with and seeking the good everywhere. We pray for our families. We pray for our community. We pray for those who are discarnated and in need of help. We pray for those who are in the hospitals, nursing homes. We pray for those who are in prisons, shelters, in the streets, those who recently discarnated. We pray for everyone who is suffering immensely and has not found a relief. We pray that healing baskets come to them, renewing their strength, their hope, their joy of living. And thank you for sending Master Jesus to remind us that life is good because it's from you. Feeling your kind and healing showers, may we go by this day singing the song of joy of existing. And so be it. Yes, friends, it's good to know more from Jesus and to pray together. We wish you a wonderful day or night, whatever you are. And Good co-creation, giving off ourselves wherever we are. Thank you for being here at Cardiac Radio, where we're nourishing our souls every day.